Hey there YouTubers, Tom here from Tom's Test Kitchen and I've really been intrigued with these this uh, these pretzel buns that John at Man Cave Meals showed how to make. Uh, yesterday I made the pretzel buns that I used for hamburgers and it just really got me thinking. So I've got some more dough here and I've got some of these Eckridge uh, little smoky breakfast sausage links. I, I really like these because they're bigger, you know, like than the cocktail weenies. And uh, so, you know, you've heard of uh, pigs in a blanket. Well, this is going to be pigs in a pretzel. So uh, I got got my dough here. It's all it's it's risen again, and uh, I'm just going to cut this into probably. Well, this makes six hamburger buns. So I think for this, I should be able to have that and get about 12 pieces of dough to make 12 of these uh, pigs in a pretzel. So uh, I'll bring you along and show you how to do that. And I've got my baking soda ready and I've got 10 cups of water boiling, so I'm going to show you this process. Okay, first thing we need to do is get our water with our uh, baking soda going. So I've got 10 cups of water here that I brought to a boil and you want to turn that down because you don't want a rolling bowl while you do this and definitely add this baking soda a little bit at a time or you will end up with a volcano yeah don't dump the whole thing in there at once See that? Okay, that's one third of a cup. And we're going to add one more third of a cup. So that's two thirds cups of baking soda to ten cups of water. I know, you're, you're tempted to just dump it all in there, but then you'd end up with a mess all over your stove. And nobody wants that. Okay, so now let me get these uh, pigs in the pretzels. Okay, let's get our pigs in this bread, in this uh, dough that will be the pretzel. So let's grab one of these, and I got ended up with 12 pieces. So just stick her in there. Roll that in and seal it. You might need to use a little bit of water. Get that to stick. If you can, pull that around and pinch it off. And I learned my lesson yesterday. I used wax paper. Don't use wax paper for anything like this because the bun's stuck. So I'm using the Reynolds No Stick. So let's do one more here and then I'll finish these up. Just pinch that shut. Try and pinch those ends shut as well. I guess these these are going to end up being kind of like kolaches, or what uh, we know here in Texas as kolaches. I think I didn't seal. Here we go. Pull it over and seal them up. Okay, I'm going to finish these and uh, I'll bring you on to the next part. Okay, got my little sausages nicely tucked in. I ended up with, there was only 10 sausages, so that's what I got. So now you just want to put that into that boiling water. 
and hit your timer because you want you want this in for 60 seconds. And don't have the water boiling too much or else uh, you'll end up with a disaster as well. You just want to kind of keep futzing with it. Keep it submerged. This is the you do this it's the same technique with the uh, making the rolls. The very similar to the same way you do bagels, except with bagels you don't use the uh, baking soda. Okay, there we got one minute. Okay, I'm going to continue on with these, and uh, I'll show you the next step after that. Okay, now I'm going to take these and. Uh, Apply a really simple egg wash. That's one beaten egg with a teaspoon of water. So I just want to brush that all over the top really well. And then add some some coarse sea salt. I'm going to finish the rest of these and then uh, pop this in a 450 degree oven for about 15, no, for 12 minutes. And uh, I'll meet you back there when this is ready, when this is done. Okay, that's been 12 minutes at uh, 350. Let's see what we got. Oh man, they look good. They smell really good too. So I'm going to bring these out and. Let them cool down a little bit. See how they taste. Okay, the moment of truth again. Let's try one of these. Pigs in a pretzel. So I'm just going to taste it first without any mustard. Mmm. It's really good. I love that pretzel. That pretzel flavor is just absolutely fantastic. Okay, we're better than pretzels and brown mustard and smoked sausage. Mm. Perfect combination. Mm. Once again, I have to say thanks for the inspiration, John. Pigs in a pretzel. Definitely a winner.